This weekend marks one year since a crash involving a tour bus killed three teenagers and an unborn baby. Hello, I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. It happened when the teenagers pulled in front of the tour bus carrying the Christian band Mercy Me. But a year later, our community has not forgotten the victims. In fact, there are plans this month to honor them a couple of different ways. News Channel 15's Adam Widener talked to two friends of the victim today. Adam, what are they planning? Well, Mark and Heather, a year after the crash, friends and family still feel the pain of losing loved ones. But by hosting a candlelight vigil this weekend and a benefit later this month, they hope to do much more than just raise money. They may be gone, but they're, they're not forgotten. A year ago Sunday, three teenagers and an unborn baby were killed when their car pulled in front of the band Mercy Me's tour bus. The driver, Kara Klinker, her unborn child, and passengers Barbara Schmucker and Dario Butte all died. We just want to let the family and friends know that they're still in our thoughts and prayers. But in the wake of a tragic anniversary, hope rises in the support of family and friends with a candlelight vigil starting at 1 a.m. Sunday. The vigil is going to be at Hall's Restaurant on Coliseum and Lima Road, and we ask that anybody show up, bring a candle. Um, Pray for the family and friends. But that's not all. We're doing a car wash, um, a chicken barbecue. Friends of the Clinker's family are holding a fundraiser August 21st. The proceeds will help buy a grave marker for Kara. She deserves something on her grave that really commemorates how important she was and how important her life was. Tickets are $10 and they're auctioning off things like this limited edition Notre Dame football print. But for the friends of the victims, the fundraiser serves a much deeper purpose than money. We just want to make sure that yeah, there, there, there's some closure here for all the kids involved. Uh, there's a nice marker out there that uh, you know people can visit her. Now the grave marker for Clinker costs eight thousand dollars, and the kids hope to raise four thousand. So they're looking for some donations or a local business to match what they can raise. For more information on how you can help, just click on this story on Wayne.com. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.